But it goes back to what I was saying before. Like I, I hope that, I hope that these these accusers of kids is is not true. But if I it is, it's like not. you said, it's it's. So open, you want it to but... be like a Michael Jackson situation, like one of those things where it's like, I'm not sure if this is true or not. You want the people that come up to be looking false. Like you remember how they started interviewing the the children? It, it looked suspect, right. like they were lying. So check it out. So check it out. <sighs> Oprah put out, this is maybe five, six years ago now. Oprah put out a documentary with two gentlemen, or not, I don't even want to call them gentlemen, with two males. Kids. No, they're adults. Now. Who, yes, who were children at the time that they were going to Michael Jackson's um, um, Never Another Land. Yes, because I was about to say Playboy Mansion for mm -hmm. kids. But uh, no, to, <laughs> to, the, to Never Never Land. Yes. Never Never Land. <laughs> My man was about to say Playboy Man. I'm glad I said Michael Jackson's uh, Playboy Man for kids. Yeah, for kids. <laughs> but yes, to Never Neverland, and they were they were um, put on the stand, which you typically don't want to do to children. Um, is put them on the stand. It's very traumatizing for them. But they put them on the stand, and they were like, "No, he's never did this. He's never done this. He's never done it." And he was alive then. So now. Um, I would say maybe like 10 years after his death or five, six, seven, eight years after his death, they want to come back as grown men saying, actually, yeah, he did do these things. And we were in a relationship. We loved him. Da, 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 all of this foolishness. Come to find out these fools was lying the whole time. And I never yes. believed them from I never, Me ever either. believed them at Me all. Either. And I said it on the, I said it on the um, thank God for the group chat podcast. I stood mm -hmm. on that. I never believed him. Michael Jackson was not into little kids. He he wanted to be a little kid. He envied exactly. little kids. He envied little kids because he couldn't get to be a little kid. He never was a little kid from the time he was 10 years old. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So he was always a little kid and then also never a kid at the same time. And so that's just, and he had such a great love for kids. You know what I mean? Now, yeah, he wasn't using the discretion that you probably should have been using. Yeah, like, hey, Michael, probably don't want to be sleeping in the bed with these kids. You know what I mean? Well, and, I'm because... sure, and I'm sure the bed was huge. I'm sure the mm -hmm. bed was huge, but nevertheless, it's like, all right, y'all, y'all go to y'all room. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to my room. You know what I mean? Michael Jackson had, had Madonna. He had D Diana Ross. He had all of these women that liked him, and he liked them as well. You know what I mean, mm -hmm. and it's not to say that not to say that he couldn't have been also on that as we see with with Sean Combs. Most of these people, mm -hmm. people yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm like, no, not Michael. And so yeah, no, they were lying. So, but I don't think that's the case. Case with I reach with this. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's. I was just asking. I was posing the question as is to say, like, because the whole the that. whole way he was talking to Justin Bieber, um, when he was a kid, was kind of crazy. Oh, hey man, yeah. I haven't seen you in a while. You haven't, mm -hmm. we haven't hung out in a while. Where you been at? Uh, I'm, you are 40 something years old, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm 16, 17, 18. Why, why do I want to hang out with you? I don't want to hang out with you. Yeah. There's nothing for us to hang out and do. And then you wouldn't even tell us what y'all do. What, 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 what do y'all do when y'all hang out? Oh, yeah, we, a mm -hmm. little bit of this, a little bit of that. <laughs> Mad and big. Right. Keep it open. Right. We just keep it open. Yeah. Right. We we'll play it by ear. You know. We yeah, play, you know. It, play it by ear. You know come mean? over, whatever. Right. Yeah. But see, um, the biggest thing for me that stands out like a sore thumb is that like I can understand Mike wanting to buy his childhood because you 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 get that right. type of money and you literally feel like I can do whatever I want. So if I can try to like make it make my environment feel like I'm a child because I was robbed of that mm -hmm. due to this career that I taken on. Right. I couldn't imagine the reason why Diddy would want to be around children. I don't want to be place. around children, but I want to I here's what it is. I remember telling Colin this back in the day like mm -hmm. I think a lot of people they like a lot of celebrities because it's always been like little whispers about like Puff maybe being in that way like with men and stuff like that. And I was like I could see it happening. You know what I mean I could see it happening because you have all of these choices. 
know what I'm saying? And you've experienced every type of woman, quote unquote, that you can experience. Done everything that you can do in this world. You get mm. bored or you get desensitized mm-hmm. and all of that type of stuff. You like, and it's like, and like, I've done everything. So now I don't get aroused like how I used to. I'm, I'm chasing another high. I'm chasing another high. So I, now I got to do more and more crazy stuff to experience the high that I'm on. And I'm untouchable. You know what I mean? So, like, I'm not going to get in trouble. No one's going to stop me from doing what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? So here I am. Now let's go to the to the to the uttermost or to the guttermost, in my opinion, with these, you know what I mean? And I just think, and I don't even want to say it, but you know what I mean? I just think that's what it is. Like you just a product of your own vices. You're like mm, you had, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? And that's that's just where it comes from of like doing everything a billion times over and now you still try and chase the high. And it's been right. it's been saying that he was on um drugs and he's doing hard drugs and stuff like that. You know what I mean for the past yeah. fifteen years, and uh, wow. um, of course that's the narrative that they're gonna run with, you know, like outside of pleading insanity. You know what I mean, like I'm, I wasn't in my right mind when I was doing these things. Mm. So this Crazy. is a whole separate so, case. So yeah. for whatever reason, if he escapes this case, for whatever reason, he still got to deal with that case. You know what I mean, and and one hundred accusers is. Absolutely it's not. Bananas. So you have to hear a hundred accounts of things that you've of you, allegedly you, of you, done. Of you. Yes, bro. Wow. Yeah. That's a lot. That's Make a lot. this money. They gonna take that. Ain't money. no way you could take, take this, this from me. Take this from you. Yeah, they taking it. <laughs> I'll be the East Side Soprano, Rob Marciano. Mm-hmm. I used to love that song. Remember, oh, we was in um Miss McMillan class. Um, rest in peace. We was in Miss McMillan mm-hmm. class, and she, and um somebody was riding down the street, uh, uh, playing "Take This Money," playing um playing "Let's Get It." That's the name of the song. And I stood mm-hmm. up, started doing a Harlem Shake. <laughs> Did she kick you out? Surprisingly, no. She kicked me out for everything else. Everything else, but not it's, that. Yeah, I must have been killing it. I must have been killing. It. I was working on my Harlem shit. <laughs> Boy, did he get kicked out? For- she kicked me out <laughs> because she she said, "Keith, get out." I don't like. She said, "Keith, get out." I can tell it's gonna be one of them days. Bella ain't even run yet. <laughs> Yeah. Me and Omari shooting shooting paper into the into the um trash can. She talked about some keep get out. I could tell it's gonna be one of them day. I'm like, mm. Mm. don't get me started. Like, don't get me started. Rip. Rest <laughs> in peace, Miss McMillan. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. Bro. That, that woman didn't play no games. Definitely rest in peace. No, she did not. She didn't play no she games. She did not have me die. That's funny. <laughs> Mm. So it's done. It's done up for Diddy. That's all. That's all we got. It, like it's yeah, done up. It's, yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's looking it's, like it's the point of no return. Like it's like. But so here's my question. Yes. This is a this is a re. Oh, where's the other people? They coming. Mm. That's why he going to get up on stand. Oh. But that's why he. Coming, that's why he's that's giving cool. his. That's why he's getting on the stand. They say you shouldn't get on the stand. That's but but Puff is getting on the stand. He's testifying at his own Rico, so he <laughs> about to be seen. To. He gonna be like such and such was there. This wasn't me. This wasn't even me. I even draw all those. This was such and now, such. But, such and such did that. So so I even draw all those. I love it. So here 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 here's the play though. Here's the play. Here's here's what I think may happen. Right mm-hmm. because of who was in these arenas and in these places with Diddy went while this stuff is happening. They're going to change the rules where those videotapes that he has for evidence and things of that nature, they're going to probably throw those out because the individuals that are in, engaged in those should be going down with. Them. Yeah, they don't want them to come out. And they don't want uh, them to come out. So they might change the rules on this and say, they're oh, like, no, none of the videos are admissible. They none of them is admissible. The ones with, the ones, the ones with, the ones with, the ones with, take them out. Take them out. If I'm in there, take them out. Get ready. I don't want my videos on stand. 
<laughs> I'm shooting for def- defamation. <laughs> now, <laughs> that, that man T D J changed his voice. Like, I was, hey. I was, I wasn't saying names. I wasn't saying names. I was just doing impressions. I wasn't saying names. Excuse me, but he probably using a, uh, his real <laughs> voice too. Yo, am I in there? <laughs> You, yay! You got me on video. What about that time when? <laughs> Am I in Yo, there? Carl wins, um, man. Um, Reg, uh, Reginald Vel yeah. Johnson. Reginald, and why is your name Vel Johnson? Why is your last name Vel Johnson? Have y'all ever met a Vel Johnson? That is no, just not, extra. Not that is just extra. Not you probably believe the first Vel Johnson in your family. Because- Probably didn't want to be Johnson and put Vell in front. I don't want to be a Johnson. I don't want to be no daggone Johnson. I'm a Vell Johnson. (laughs) His mom and his dad was probably arguing. They were like, just name him Vell Johnson. Tired of this. (laughs) But anyway, anyway, TMZ. It's a combination of his middle name and his last. No, it's his his last name. Oh, Vell is not a middle name. Yeah. It's It's Vell Johnson. Johnson. I never heard of that in my yes. life. Yes, I'm saying first. it's a rare you condition know. in this day and age. But tell me, you know you can you can change your name. Shut up, kid. You can change your name <laughs> legally. It is a rare condition. You can change your name legally, <laughs> and he probably did. I'm Reginald Vale Johnson. <laughs> From that, henceforth. But That's anyway, football names. You get that junk on the back of a jersey. You know, yeah. that's, that's how they put I don't know. Bell Johnson might look fire. Sound on like a, a, it looked like a misprint. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is this. What I'm, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is this. Um, yeah, so they interviewed him because you know there was a rumor going around, going around saying that you know he had had an interaction. You know he had had an interaction oh, with Buff Lord. at one of the parties. He going. They was like, "Yeah, we heard this." And he was like, "I've never met that man. Don't do that to that man." I was like, "Just, just say we've never done this. Just, just say that. Just, just say no." He's saying it like I haven't had the chance. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I've, I've be never had. Back, I've never been blessed with the opportunity. <laughs> Yeah, I've been I've been blowing bags out from time to time. Like you see, do, right? Do you see a Rolex on my arm? Do you see what car you see me getting in? Then what make you think 